Trump has said, if I put my name on something, you know it's going to be good. <laughs> Over the years, his name has been on some things that have arguably been very ungood. <laughs> including Trump Shuttle, uh, which no longer exists, Trump Vodka, which was discontinued, Trump Magazine, which folded, Trump World Magazine, which also folded, Trump University, over which he's being sued, and, of course, the travel booking site GoTrump.com, <laughs> whose brief existence was, I imagine, a real thorn in the side of anyone hoping GotRump.com <laughs> featured a single thing worth masturbating to. And that's not even mentioning this. When it comes to great stakes, I've just raised the stakes. Trump stakes are the world's greatest stakes, and I mean that in every sense of the word. And the Sharper Image is the only store where you can buy them. <laughs> and not only can you not buy those stakes anymore, but why did he sell them at the Sharper Image? <laughs> that is a weird choice. I will take a massage chair, an indoor waterfall, and eight and a half pounds of the finest meat in America. <laughs> and sure, Every business executive is bound to have a few missteps, but Trump's lack of sound financial instincts is perhaps best exemplified by the business that he put his name on back in 2006, just before the entire housing market collapsed. I think it's a great time to start a mortgage company. We're going to have a great company. It's Trump Mortgage and TrumpMortgage.com, and it's going to be a terrific company. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> in fact... In fact, starting a mortgage company in 2006 was one of the worst decisions you could possibly make. But I guess you can convince yourself it was a good idea when you say 30 words and five of them are great, great, terrific, Trump and Trump. 